for joining Canada East and the Northeast and all the athletes we have packed into this region now are incredible. And let's start with the two women who are probably favorites to take one of those five spots, and that's Michelle Latondra and Danny Haran. I mean, I worked hard all year like all the other girls, but I feel I've been picking my shape right now, and you know, I'm ready to fight hard. You never want to say a guy is a sure thing, but Go Matt, ahead. Matt Fraser ahead. is about as close as you're going to get to that <laughs> right here, isn't he? He was your second fittest man in the world at the games last year. Last year was last year. As I don't get extra points for, for what happened last year. New year, who knows what will happen. Here at the East Regional, it's event number one, Randy. And there are athletes here that are looking to get back to the game. Matt it's Fraser down to his final two reps. Not about the first 25 or the second, it is that last in a 25. Alex Vigno! Alex Vigno across the finish line. Lena is cruising. She is known for an engine. She's down to her last four reps. Final rep, over the bar and down the field. Two minutes, 24, 25 seconds, a new event record by Kalina Ladinius. She better. I just forgot I knew it was a good one for me. So my goal was just to go and not worry about anybody else. I knew that the first 50 river was fast, but I give all I got in, in the last 25. Yeah. And I didn't check on the other side. Okay, so you're not looking no. at what's going I look in front. What's it gonna take to be one of the top five this weekend? Consistent, constant, yes. Don't lose any workout. And they are off, getting underway with 21 thrusters. And Michelle Latondra came into event number two in seventh place in the overall standings. Two rope climbs for Austin. Spencer Hendel now has three rope climbs left. Cody Mooney stuck in ahead of Austin Maliolo. Austin right behind him. Paran back to her thrusters, as is Kelly Jackson. Spencer Hendel does have a shot at it. And Austin was one of those athletes that missed the games last year. I know he wants to get back. It was the legless road climb the last year that kept Maliolo out of the game. This is redemption. She only has nine thrusters left. Cody Mooney is just nine thrusters with 115 pounds. He is edging out Austin Maliolo. Here's Matt Fraser. Finishing up his last thruster. Now it's back to throw. Cody Mooney down to three rope climbs. Now down to two. This will be her last rope climb. Confidence in the movement. She is thrilled with that performance, and she should be. There's Spencer as he touches that cross beam. There's his final rope climb, a sprint to the finish. He will step on the finish mat, seven minutes, 29 seconds. He will have the fastest time of the day. And the gloveless Cody Mooney will step on the finish mat. But we've got a foot race between Austin Maliolo and Alex Vigneault. And it was too close to call. I'm glad they're wearing chips. The leaderboard on the men's side after two events, Matt Fraser sits in second. Alex Vigneault will sit in first place. He has a 20-point lead over Matt Fraser. In spots 5 through 12, though, you have five games vets and just 23 points separate 5th through 12th. Remember, the top five athletes in each division advancing to the CrossFit Games. Now, I'm not happy with where I am, but I mean, day twos, you know, that first workout, it's pain, something I'm good at. And then that afternoon's about performance. A handstand walk is something I'm really good at, and that snatch is something that uh, a little bit of redemption from last year. So. It's going to be a big day, and I, I, got, to, I got to move. As, as it's dubbed, I believe, moving day. So I have to make good on that name. Annie Horan's in first place with 169 points. A point behind her is Michelle Latondra. A point behind her is Kalina Ladaris. And four points behind first is Kelly Monroe. So only four points total separate one through four. It's this crazy tight race on the women's side of the Northeast, and it should make for an exciting day, too. My name is Cody Mooney. I'm from Maine. So last year I competed at individual and I finished 14th in the Northeast Regional. No one knew my name coming in and most people probably still don't. And that's just, it's fine with me. It's, it is what it is. Taking on event number three. Every single point counts in this fight to climb up and qualify to the games this summer. Kalina Ladaris' judge's hand is in the air. Kelly Monroe in the black top now joins Kalina Ladaris. 
This is the show people expected to see. He gave that wink to the camera because he knew something. He's going to hold on to these overhead squats. We've got a few judges' hands up. Now Matt Fraser finishes 50 overhead squats. He'll be the first one to the GHD sit-up portion of this workout. the first one on to those double unders. Alex Vigno, Matt Fraser, side by side, neck and neck. Five reps left on the sumo deadlift time hole. Fraser, stepping off the shark, ready to get to work on the 100 box jump overs. Kelly now will flip her box. Kelly starts in on the last 20 reps of the box jump overs. Matt Fraser rolls that box forward. He's on his last set of 20. So not only are we going to see an event record fall, he will establish a really fast time to beat on this event record. Final four left for Kalina Landeris. Two more. She could be the fifth lady in all of the regionals to complete this event. She will do so under the time cap. Matt Fraser, the second fittest male athlete in the world, down to his final box jump over. There it is. A big thumbs up to the crowd. He's going to step on the finish mat for a new event record. We're going to have a second lady in the East Regional finish this workout under the time cap. Kelly Monroe does it. Meaning He's down to his last five reps. Last box jump over for Alex Vino. He will finish event number three here at the East Regional. Unofficial official time, 25 minutes, 39 seconds. I mean, I could hear the announcer saying, like, so-and-so is at this point, so-and-so is at that point. Um... I, I, I was smiling because I thought I was 20 reps ahead of Alex. Huh? And then when I was starting my 91st, they said Alex at 90, and I kind of went, ah, oh, shit. Like, I have to keep going hard. The, the goal of this weekend is to go to the games. That's, that's the, the reason for being here. And anything other than that, it's ego, it's pride. And I, I think every, everyone in the top 40 has that. We, we all want to win. Of course, uh, sure but it said you'd be a liar if you said you didn't want to win. No, of course, of course, I want to win. That's I, I don't, I don't train. Is it a nice bonus or is it the goal? This weekend? No, it's the it's the goal of, of everything. Okay. Uh, you, you don't train to picture yourself at, on second place in the podium. Second place sucks. But at the top of your screen, Carrie Pierce in lane number two, jumping out to an early lead. She was seventh coming into today, seventh currently, but that will move her up the leaderboard. But don't forget Austin Maliolo. That guy can walk on his hands quickly. Austin Maliolo has finished. Matt Fraser is on the finish map. Kelly Monroe on the left, Kelly Jackson on the right. Kelly Jackson, 145 is up. Kelly Monroe has 147 pounds. Tominski on the left, 262 pounds. Tominski has his bar up. Danny Horan stands up with 176 pounds. Jennifer makes good on her lift with 170 pounds on the bar. Kelly Jackson stands up with 157. Michelle Tondra, who just finished with that 182. Beautiful form. Look at that speed under the bar. Pulls herself under. Thrilled with that weight knows that that was enough for first to give her a first place right there in that event. Alex Vino on the left, Matt Fraser on the right. Matt opening with 256 and makes good on it. He made it look easy, as did Alex Vino. But he's sighing a little sigh of relief <laughs> there. Spencer Hendel on the left, 265 pounds.
fifth place spot. He needed two solid events. He did exactly what he had to do. His bags were already packed because he knew he was moving. My whole fucking year came out of that one lift. God, that fires me up. I don't get fired up often. That fucking fires me up. I'm so glad you went 245. 246. 246. Man, ah, I, don't, take that pound away from don't you take don't that take fucking that pound that away from pound. me, Kenny. I haven't snatched 246 in two fucking years. Ah. It's Michelle Latondra, the woman who finished fourth at the CrossFit Games. She's in first, but five through eight is extremely close. Just four points separating them. Kalina Ladaris has slid down over the past couple of events. You know, the last two results certainly did not help her cause. Yeah, and she started off the day so well. With a first place in event three, she actually finished that nasty chipper. But then in events four and five, she really did not close out the day well, heading in the wrong direction. She's only seven points ahead of six right now, heading into day three. And lastly, we've got Kelly Jackson. End of day two, she's in seventh place, so that leaderboard is going, maybe not for, you know, Danny Horan and Michelle, but there's gonna be some shifting going on in that top five. For moving day, I'm where I need to be. I like, I like to make a dramatic finish. Uh, last year I did, so definitely as long as I can move, I'm gonna move. Matt Fraser has been climbing up the leaderboard all day today, and he finishes up day two, the overall leader. Fraser down to his final five calories, four calories now. Carol Ann Reason Tebow just took the lead from Danny Horan. Third place. Spencer Hendel, lane four, has missed the games two years in a row. Tomiski finishes the, the chest bar pull-ups. Currently fourth place on the leaderboard coming into this event is Kalina Ladaris. And these handstand push-ups are giving her trouble. Danny just went unbroken on all handstand push-ups and is taking over this spot from Carol Ann Reeves and Tebow. Carrie Pierce down to her final two reps on the chest of our pull-ups. Matt Fraser will have the event record. Carrie Ann Pierce has jumped to the lead ahead of Carol Ann Reason Tebow. Tabinski trying to round out this last set of handstand push-ups. And there he has it. Tabinski will finish. We can have a new event record, and we do. Carrie Pierce establishes a new event record, 13 minutes, 19 seconds. Because this is my first regional, and I just came into it wanting to just have fun, have a good time, and shine. Like I said, it's mainly in the handstand events, but I had no clue that I would be sitting where I am right now. So I'm super excited. Well, I knew coming out in uh, eighth place, you know, I was only like 14, 15 points behind fifth. I had to make up ground, and that's what I thought about last night was just visualizing this workout and kind of just going and going to what I thought I could do. Michelle Latadra and Danny Horan have clinched. They're going to the games. Pierce is looking good in third after setting the event record in six, but then just 22 points separate fourth from eighth. So here's the question, who is it going to be going to the games? We have three bets. They're fighting it out with the rookie, Cody Mooney, for the last three spots to go to the games. There's only six points that separate third place Daniel Tominski down to sixth place Spencer Hendel, who sits in that familiar spot just one place out of qualifying which has kept him away from the games the past two years. He's looking for redemption and who's gonna need it in this final event. I think biggest for me, what's going through my head is, you've done all the work up till now, this is the last workout of the weekend. Everyone's hurting, everyone you know, wants to throw in the towel, everyone wants to call it a day or call it a weekend and you've got one workout left and all you gotta do is go out there and give it your all and lay it all out there on the floor. Handel, he is looking to make a, a move here. Fraser is taking down two event records. His judge has his hand up. He's down to his last three reps. Kalina Landeris is just getting after these muscle ups. She's just on the outskirts, five points away from fifth place. She needs to move. Tomiski is at the bar. Michelle Latondre to the bar first. Michelle is crushing this workout. Nobody's even close to her.